Selling t-shirts online is the absolute best business you could start because it is totally free and it doesn't take a lot to start seeing momentum in your business like some other online businesses. I'm going to walk you through step by step the exact process to start your merch business on Amazon and start making sales right away. I'm Hannah and on this channel I talk about all things print on demand and making passive income online. So if that is something you're interested in, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. It really helps to support me. The amazing thing about selling t-shirts and other products on Amazon is that Amazon is the biggest e-commerce platform out there. So as soon as you start uploading products, they will have eyes on them because of the sheer amount of shoppers that are visiting the site every single day. Unlike selling t-shirts and print-on-demand products on someplace like Etsy, which I also do love, on Amazon, you are not responsible for any of the customer service. All you have to do is do the research to find trending designs, create the artwork, and upload them to your merch account and Amazon takes care of the rest. Everything from shipping and printing to storing, packing, customer complaints, and every customer service problem that someone could have. You don't have to worry about a thing. While on other sites, if you grow to the point where you're making hundreds of sales every single day, keeping up with all of that is going to be super overwhelming. But with Amazon, they have the infrastructure to take care of that. So this can become a truly passive income stream for you. Now let's walk you through the logistical step-by-step Step process of how you are going to start this business. The very first thing you are going to need to do is apply to be part of the Merch by Amazon program. Unlike a lot of other sites like Redbubble or TeePublic, there is actually an application process because Amazon wants to vet the people who are going to be selling on their platform. They are not super exclusionary, but this is a step that you're gonna have to take. Even though applying can seem like a little bit of a hassle, I actually have an entire video that lays out exactly everything that you should say in your application to make sure that you get accepted super fast and on your first try, so make sure you watch that. And the fact that Amazon does have this application process is actually really good for us as sellers because it's making the barrier of entry just a little bit higher than some of these other platforms, meaning that people who are part of this program are more serious and there's hopefully less competition than some of these other sites where just anyone can post anything at any time of day. Once your application has been accepted, you will receive an email saying that you have access to Merch by Amazon. Once you log into your account, you're going to see that you are able to upload 10 unique designs to multiple different products. Amazon works on a tier system, meaning that when you first get started, you are limited in the amount of products that you can sell. But as you validate yourself by making sales, Amazon is going to rank you up into further and further tiers allowing you to be able to sell more products on their marketplace. When you are first started and in tier 10, you are going to have to make at least 10 sales to be able to get ranked up to tier 25, where you are going to be able to have 25 unique designs. And same goes for that tier. You need to sell 25 items to be able to go to tier 100, where you're able to upload up to 100 unique designs. As you increase your tier in your design slots, your potential to make money is only going to increase because the more volume of products that you have, the more potential for something to really take off or for you to make more sales throughout the month. So I think it's really important to spend as little time as possible in those lower tiers. So I have a couple videos for you guys about tearing up really fast. Make sure you watch those for your best chance of getting out of tier 10 and tier 25 really easily and moving up to where you can really start to make a lot of money. The next thing you're going to need to know in your merch business is how to find trending designs that are going to make you sales. This is by far the most important part of your Merch by Amazon journey, is doing research to find great niches that people are actually looking for and that don't have a lot of competition. I have wasted so much time thinking and creating a design that I think is going to do super well because it's something very popular. And then when I finally upload it, nothing happens, either because nobody's actually looking for it 
or there's already thousands of designs in that niche, so mine is just getting pushed way to the bottom of the search. If you want even a chance to make sales and find those really, really great niches that are going to be your ticket to getting your item in front of the right buyers, you need to have a tool like Merch Informer. This is what I use to find all of my niches that I'm going to put on my shirts. I have made thousands of sales using their tool and basically it is going to help you see what has been selling and also if you ever think of something it has a place where you can plug in a word or a niche and it is going to give you a score of how good that niche is going to be depending on how many sales that it makes per month and how many other shirts are in that niche. Merch Informer is my absolute favorite tool that I use to find every trending niche that I go after, to find trending phrases, and what is going to sell really well. They have all sorts of tools to show you what has been selling over the past few months and to find new niches for you. One of the tools that I always come back to is their competition checker. If you aren't familiar with it, the Merch Informer competition checker will literally check any keyword or niche that you have and see if that is going to be something Something that you want to target. I have actually been seeing a ton of shirts with different cabin and camping themes selling super well. So that is what I'm going to look up today. I'm going to search the word cabin and see what kind of rating it's going to get and what ideas I can think of. I know hunting season is coming up, so I think a lot of people are going to their cabin. All right, so right away I can see that it is giving me a B rating, which is pretty good. In my own business, I pretty much only go for niches that have at least an A or a B rating. So this score is based on if the product has a lot of competition and if people are actually searching for that. So if there's tons of results for a keyword that people have already uploaded tons of items, it's probably going to give you a C, D, or an F. But if there is not a lot of competition and people are actually buying these items, then this would give you a good rating. So right away, I can see a lot of the phrases that are selling, what happens at the cabin stays at the cabin. So I think we can do something with cabin. So that's what I'm gonna go for. I seriously can't recommend Merch Informer enough. Probably at least 90% of all my products with sales have been found using their tool. So I think it's the absolute best thing to invest in if you're just getting started. I do have a link with a discount code for you guys down below. So if you do choose to try it out, make sure you use that. Now that we've come up with a trending niche in phrase, the next thing we're going to need to do is to check if that is trademark. This is where a lot of people get tripped up on Merch by Amazon. They start thinking of things that are trending and that are going to get them sales, but little do they know that phrase or word actually has a trademark on it and they get their accounts banned like that. Pretty much any new design that I make, I am going to check it in the free trademark electronic search system. So I will have a link to that down below and all you're gonna do is plug in the word or phrase and search it, and it's gonna bring up a list of all the trademarks that are out there that are associated with that phrase. If you see that the trademark is dead or no one has a trademark for that, you are good to go and that should be safe. But if you see that something has a trademark for that phrase, and especially if it's for something like t-shirts or hoodies, you want to stay clear away from that. Okay, so one super important step that I do not wanna miss is trademark checking the phrase that I'm going to do. So I need to search life is better at the cabin before I even attempt to upload that because I do not wanna get a rejection from Amazon. All right, so when I search that, I do see that there is a trademark for life is better at the cabin, but I wanna take a closer look at this. So if you look right here, it says that this trademark is actually dead. So it was abandoned last year. So this is actually something that we could try and target. If it did say live right here, that would mean that somebody does hold the trademark and it is not safe to post. But since this trademark is no longer active, we can post it and not have to worry about our account going under review or it getting rejected. However, sometimes with trademarks like this, if in maybe six months you decide to do the same phrase, it might be a good idea to just go ahead and look up the phrase one more time to see if maybe somebody has reopened this trademark just to be safe. But for now, we should be good. Now that you have a great phrase that you know 
has been validated and will make you sales, you are going to want to make really great graphics. I think this is the part that scares a lot of people away from thinking they could start a t-shirt business, but you really don't have to be an amazing artist to be able to make good designs. There are a lot of sites out there like Creative Fabrica, All Sunsets, All American Graphics that have pre-made graphics that are ready for you to use for print on demand. So today we are going to look for a graphic that can go with that cabin niche that we found on All American Graphics. They have all sorts of graphics with American flags in the background in a really popular style that sells super well for me on Merch by Amazon, which honestly saves me so much time. You could try and make all these yourself, but I find it's just a lot easier to download something from a site like this. So all of these are going to be in that retro American flag style. That is a super good seller for me on Amazon. Anything that I put an American flag on, it seems like that sells really well. So I'm going to go ahead and see if they have anything in this cabin niche. And right away, I'm seeing some really great artwork. So I think I like this artwork. So I'm going to download that and that just went straight to my downloads. And let's do this vertical one too, just in case. When you pay for a monthly or a yearly subscription to All American Graphics or someplace like All Sunsets, you have access to literally thousands of graphics that you can use in your business. And they're all licensed for print on demand. I also have a link to their site. If you do want to check them out, it really supports my channel. Okay, so I am logged into my Canva account and I'm going to go ahead and create a design that is 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. That is pretty standard if you are selling on Amazon. All right, so I am on my Canva and I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop that artwork that I just got. Okay, so that is already looking really good, but we are definitely going to want to add some text to this. So for this style of design, I am probably going to want to do two lines of text. So I'm going to go ahead and put one above and one below and we will change that to black too to match the graphic. Life is better at the cabin. And then I want to put this in more of a distressed style. So one that I really like to use here is called this Zoom Rough Bold. I just think it's really easy to read, but it's also distressed, which is a super popular style of font on Amazon. That is already looking really good. So I am going to go ahead and download that. And I want to do that on a transparent background. Now that we finished our really great artwork, it's time to actually upload our product to Amazon. When you are first getting started and just in tier 10, you are only going to be able to upload to two products every single day. T-shirts sell the best of any other product on Amazon. I think it's super important to upload those two designs to t-shirts first before you upload them to anything else. When you are in the lower tiers and your design slots are limited, I think it's best practice to be regularly rotating your designs out and changing them out for something that's newer or trendier that you think is going to get more sales. So if you see that a shirt hasn't sold in about 30 to 60 days, I would consider replacing that with something else. All right, so I am logged into my Merch by Amazon account and I just went ahead and I uploaded the artwork that we just created and I enabled it on all the products that I want. So now it's gonna be time to go ahead and write that description and title. Now that your design is uploaded, you are going to write the title and description for your product. This is super important because it's gonna tell Amazon and your potential customers what this product is all about what niche it's in, and what other keywords it's associated with. So it's really important on Amazon that you are not keyword stuffing or being spammy in your title or descriptions. But this is hard to do because you want to pack your description as full of keywords as you can, but you also want it to sound like natural text so it doesn't get flagged and rejected. This is a whole video in itself, so I actually do have another video for you guys all about writing titles and descriptions that are going to get you sales. So make sure you watch that next. It's really going to help you out in figuring out what to put in those title and description. 
The next thing you need to do in your Merch by Amazon business is you're going to want to utilize social media. I see a lot of times people upload their first 10 designs and then there's crickets and they don't know what to do because they're not making any sales and they're not tearing up. We have an amazing tool of Instagram and Facebook to utilize to be able to make those first few sales and help us get out of those lower tiers. So I think that it's super important to create an Instagram page or a Facebook page for your designs and start regularly uploading those. I have an entire video about how I did this to get out of tier 10 in just a week. I created mock-ups using a site like Playset and then posted those regularly to an Instagram page that was only in one niche. So I had all of my 10 designs all in the same niche to appeal to and hopefully grow all one audience that's interested in those types of designs. I think this is a tool that a lot of newbies are missing out on. We really have the ability to bring outside traffic to our listings. And the amazing thing about Amazon is once your item has one sale, it's automatically going to get a bestseller rank, helping it to show up in the first page of Amazon. So a lot of times if you can help Amazon make that first sale on a shirt, it's going to rank really high and you're going to start getting a lot more organic sales just from Amazon and not from you promoting it. So do not sleep on posting your items on social media and growing an audience that way. Next, it's super common for new merch accounts to get shut down within their first few weeks, a lot of times without you even knowing what you did. There are a few common mistakes that people are making that are leading to their accounts getting terminated and them getting banned. So you definitely do not want to be making those mistakes. Make sure you watch this video next where I'm going to take you through what is leading to terminations and how you can keep your account safe. So make sure you watch that next. Thanks so much for watching my video and I'll see you in my next one.